What's up Smart Homers? My name's Aaron and in this video I want to show you the Gobi Smart Curtain Lights, a giant canvas for pixel art. Full disclosure, Gobi did send me this product for a review, but they didn't tell me anything I should say about it, and so it's going to be an honest review. This product is basically a bunch of strings of individually addressable LEDs all branching off of a main line. They're meant to hang down on a flat surface and display pixel art on that surface. This pixel art is set up in the Gobi app. There are 20 strings of LEDs all connected to a main distribution line and at the one end of it, it has a controller that has a microphone. The strings have 26 LEDs on each and the LEDs are spaced about 3 inches apart. The cable between these LEDs has 3 wires, so I'm guessing they're either SK6812s or WS2812Bs. Each LED is encapsulated in some sort of diffuse protective material and the cables between the LEDs are coated with some sort of clear insulation. There's a power supply that can be attached to the controller and a bunch of clips that are meant to be clamped onto the main distribution cable. You insert a hook into the clamps and then secure them with the provided screws. The hooks allow the strings to be attached to curtain hooks so that they can hang up against the curtain. They also supply 3M adhesive and some hooks that stick into something solid like wood or a wall. This way they can be mounted to any flat surface and not just a curtain. Installing the hooks was easy if not a little bit tedious, but after that was done I went ahead and started hanging up in my living room from the curtain hooks. One thing that I wasn't sure about was whether or not I should hang them behind the curtains or in front of them, but since my curtains are really blackout drapes I decided that the front was the way to go. Once they're hung up and the strings are straightened out, you can go ahead and attach the power supply and plug them in. Setup in the app is straightforward and then you can start playing around. In the app, hit the plus icon in the corner and search for curtain. The model number for these lights is H70B1, so tap that option. Once set up, you'll see the main device page, which shows an image of the curtain with a power button. Below that, you have the effects lab button. In the effects lab screen, you're shown a bunch of different colors based on different real world objects and you can press and hold them to add them to my color. Kind of like a favorite color palette for use elsewhere in the app. The timer function allows you to set timers for when it should turn on and off. Pretty basic. The snapshots list is a list of any snapshots that are taken. Snapshots are like presets and can be saved and then used to call a specific effect, brightness, etc. with one tap. There's also a brightness slider to control the brightness of all the LEDs. Below that are the different modes, and this is where it gets cool. Music mode allows the controller's microphone to allow the LED effects to react to sound. You can choose whether it's going to use the controller's microphone or your phone's microphone, but if it uses your phone's, you need to be nearby within Bluetooth range. You can also adjust the mic sensitivity, and below the sensitivity slider there are a bunch of different sound reactive effects. The color tab allows you to set a specific color for all the LEDs. You can pick an exact color about 10 different ways and even save them to your My Colors. You can also tap Finger Sketch which allows you to draw pixel art. The Scene Mode allows you to choose animated pixel art and different effects from a bunch of different tabs. These are pretty fun to play around with especially in the seasonal ones. The DIY Mode allows you to make your own custom animated pixel art or effect and save them. They can be set as shortcuts for easy accessibility later on. Okay, so now let's talk about how we add this to Home Assistant. Setup in Home Assistant requires a custom integration from the Home Assistant Community Store. There are actually two in Hacks, but either one is fine. We're going to use the GoVLAN integration. Once installed, you need to restart Home Assistant. After that, head to Devices and Services, click Add Integration, and choose the GoVLAN integration. When adding it, you're asked to provide an API key, which you need to get from the app. In the app, tap the account icon, then the settings gear at the top right, and then tap apply for API key. Fill out the form and tap submit. And in a couple minutes, you're going to get an email with the API key. Copy and paste it into Home Assistant and you'll be able to finish adding the integration. All of your Gobi lights should now show up and you can assign them a location and click finish. 
This integration treats the curtain just like a light, so there's not much you can do other than set all the LEDs to a certain color. There's no choosing effects or anything like that. The other thing is that even though this integration is called GoVLAN, LAN control is actually not supported for this device, and so it is cloud control. So as you guys know, I love pixel art, and I think this is a pretty unique way of approaching it. I do have to say that when these are hung up, the effect is pretty mesmerizing, and the kids especially love it. I'd have to say that my favorite effects are the visualizer effects that react to music, and specifically the spectrum effect, because it reminds me of one of the projects I did in WLED. One thing with the music effects though, it does appear that there's a slight delay for when the sound is picked up by the microphone and when the spectrum actually reacts to it. And this applies to all the music mode effects, not just spectrum. I also do like some of the seasonal effects, especially the snowman one. And I can see this being hung up around the holidays. The other thing is that I really think this actually looks better on some flat white surface like a wall rather than a curtain because a lot of people's curtains are not just pure white, but different colors. Another thing that might be cool to try is some sort of diffuser, like a sheer curtain that goes over top of them to kind of give that diffuse look and make it a little bit more pixel arty because looking at the raw LED sometimes is a little bit bothersome to the eyes. The biggest bummer for me with these is that they're not locally controllable, meaning if you lose connection to the internet, then you're not gonna be able to control these except for via Bluetooth. If Home Assistant had a Bluetooth integration for GoV lights, that would be super cool. Also, with the right parts, you could actually build one of these yourself using WLED. Again, I kind of think these look better on a large empty wall and they would look a lot better diffused. So I may try that in an upcoming video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and don't worry, I am working on a pixel art part two video. So stick around for that one. On this channel, we cover a lot of LED related videos, pixel art videos, and home assistant videos. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when my next video comes out. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.